Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm coming at you in a very low-key manner. Um, we're just very relaxed today. We got comfy house clothes on, low pony. We're doing the whole thing. Um, but I wanted to film a declutter. I'm planning on going through my entire collection and filming these declutters for each different category. Um, but the one that I really want to get done is my complexion products, my foundations, concealers, all that. It's just atrocious right now. And I wanted to film it for all of you lovely people, maybe give you some inspiration to declutter. I've been binging declutters recently and it's really making me want to downsize. So I'm going to be going through, pulling everything out and we're gonna go ahead and declutter. This is my mega disastrous complexion drawer. This is lipsticks, it won't close. Um, there is a lot in here, it's just too much for me. We need to downsize. So I just went through and pulled everything out. Um, I think we're gonna start, let's start with setting sprays and primers. I just moved things around, pulled this in front. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of pull things out. So this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Plus Vitamin C Setting Spray. I think this is their newest one. I'm obsessed with this, like literally obsessed. So of course I'm gonna keep this one. I'm trying to pull out the things I know I wanna keep real quick. Um, my MAC Fix Plus and Lavender, of course, is a keep. Um, let's see, my Super Goop sunscreen, always a keep. We love a good SPF up in here. This Morphe is empty. It's the Continuous Mist Setting Spray. I think it has like nothing left in there, maybe a tiny bit. So I think I'm actually going to just toss this. It's already almost empty. I might use it again tomorrow um, to finish it off, but this is definitely going to go. I have another MAC Fix Plus. This one is in the Cherry Blossom scent. And this one's really good. I love a good Fix Plus, so I will be keeping this one as well. Now here we are getting into the things that I know I want to like get rid of. First up, we have this Professional from Benefit. This I got literally, I want to say in like 2018 or 2019. Like this is old. This is old as balls and I don't like how this makes my skin look. It clings, it makes it look really patchy and gross. So I am going to be getting rid of this. I also have a mini that I'm gonna be getting rid of because I just don't like this formula. I have this setting spray from Wet n Wild. It is the Mega Glow, um, just face mist. Like, I don't know, this came out in like a crystal collection. And it doesn't have a lot in there. Um, it's a pretty small size. I mean, it's only an ounce. And I just am not a fan of this. I don't like how it makes my skin look. It's supposed to give you that nice dewy complexion. And I feel like this just made my skin look awful. It's like aura booster. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I tried to keep it to use it to spray down shimmers and stuff, but I'm just at a point where I do not want this in my collection anymore. So it has got to go. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Now, this one is an oldie but a goodie. Does anybody remember when this was like literally all the rage? I think like four or five years ago. Um, I have gone through a couple of these. This is definitely not my first one, um, but this is so old. Like I couldn't even tell you how old this is. Like I'm trying to squeeze out and it's taking so much effort to squeeze. It's starting to smell. Like it just smells a little off. So I think it is time to get rid of this one as well. I have this Milk Hydro Grip Primer Sample. I think I wanna keep this um, just to try it before I get a full size because I've debated getting a full size of the Hydro Grip. Um, my Fenty's, this one is the True Matte Pro Filter primer. Um, I just have it in this little travel size. As you can see, it is literally down to here. Um, I'm going to use up this last little bit either today or tomorrow and get rid of it. Um, I was not a huge fan of the matte. My skin is very dry and I typically need something more like this one, 
which is the Instant Retouch Primer. This one is kind of really good for combo skin, I think. It's hydrating um, and mattifying, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly, they have like three primers. I'm obsessed with this one though, so I am going to keep this one. This is another one that I think is time to let go of. This is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Um, when I worked at Ulta, this was literally like it. Like, I loved this. This is starting to not smell good though. I can't remember if this is how it always smelled. It's like not even rubbing in very good. Like, I don't even know if you can see that, but it's like chunking up. It's so gross. <laughs> it is time to get rid of this guy. I remember really enjoying it. I clearly have not used the majority of this. I just need it gone. This is my MAC lip conditioner. I'm not sure why that's in there. That is a keep. Okay, I have two MAC strobe creams. I think they're the same color. This one's definitely older. I can't remember the last time I used a strobe cream. This is so much. I did not mean to put that much on there. Um, this kind of like goes under your foundation and it's supposed to make it nice and glowy. Um, I do remember using these a lot. I think I'm going to get rid of the old one and keep the newer one just so I have one. Um, cause I think I would like to pull that out again. Actually, blah, 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 blah. do I need it? No, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I don't need to hoard. And the last thing I have in at least the primer drawer, this is from Soul Body. It is, I think, like a dry oil. It doesn't even tell me. Oh, shimmering dry oil. This came in the ColourPop Valentine's Day collection from this year. I've only tried this once, um, and I kind of put it on my collarbones. It's not bad. Um, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to look like, if that makes sense. I still want to play around with it and try it out. Um, so I think I am going to actually keep this one and... Um, play around with it some more because I don't have anything else like this in my collection. This is much better. Look how empty this drawer is. Okay, time for foundation concealer. This one I know I want to get rid of quite a bit. So starting off, I have this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This one is in the shade Fair 02. I have a couple shades. This is not my favorite concealer by any means. It's very dry and cakey and I'm not a huge fan so I'm gonna get rid of this one plus it's almost gone anyway. The Dior. This is the Backstage Face and Body Foundation. One of my holy grails. I wear this almost every single day. Keeping. I'm gonna keep my two MAC Studio Fix Plus concealers. I have shades NW10 and NW20. Um, really good concealers, I'm gonna keep those. Uh, same with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Mine is in the shade two neutral. I'm gonna keep this, this is a fave. All of my faves are like right on the top. Um, okay, this is empty, this is the Lancome Tonti Dull Ultra Wear Foundation. I have it in shade 100 and this is literally empty. I just have kept it because I wanted to buy a replacement in the same shade uh, and I guess I decided to keep it so I would know which shade I am. Um, but I'm going to get rid of this because it's empty and I don't need it. I'm trying to figure out like where I wanna go from here. Okay, this is another get rid of. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Swan. I don't know if you can see that, but it's literally like the liquid's like here and the pigment's down here. Like it is so old and separated. I've had this since 2017. I don't even think it would mix together even if I tried. So I'm gonna get rid of this and also the corresponding concealer also in Swan. This was actually a really good concealer. Um, it's just way old, so time to get rid of both of those. If I want them that bad, I can buy them again. Uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation, shade 100. This one's actually really good. I like this one for full coverage. I'm gonna keep, Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, God knows how old these are. <laughs> My Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I actually completely forgot I had these. I have them in shades Fair Beige and Porcelain Beige. 
They were good if I remember correctly and I would be open to purchasing them again but quite frankly they are so old there is no way they're still good for my skin so getting rid of those. The Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Um, let me see. Depends. I, funny story, I bought this because I hid my tattoos from my family for literally two years and I used this to cover them. Actually, that's kind of a nice color. Mm, I might keep this actually. I think I might keep this. I'm going to keep it. Um, but this is what I used to hide my tattoos for literally two years. I have this one from Juvia's Place. It is the I Am Magic Full Coverage Foundation. I have it in Bali, which is 720. I have not tried this. Um, it's supposed to be velvety matte full coverage, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator, and mine is in Fair 20. I'm gonna keep this one as well. This one I got recently this year, and I actually, quite enjoy it. I know it had some mixed reviews. Um, it's definitely not an all day type foundation, but for quick and easy, no makeup makeup, it's pretty nice. So I'm going to keep that one. I have these two Magic Star concealers from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, uh, pale yellow and yellow. The pale yellow, I for sure want to keep. I really like that one. The yellow, I think I'm actually going to get rid of because it is just too dark for me. Um, the pale yellow is much more my vibe. Ooh. So I'm going to get rid of the yellow one. Estee Lauder Double Wear in shade 1 and 1. Ivory Nude. Another oldie but goodie. I used to go through this stuff like it was water. Like literally went through bottles and bottles of this stuff. Um, this is again probably like 4 or 5 years old at this point. So I think I'm going to pass it along. Um, I'm actually thinking about purchasing a new one to try. Um, but I am trying to be better about not just buying everything. So I'm going to wait until I go through another foundation to get this. But this definitely needs to go. Same with this Maybelline Superstay. Um, this one is in 110 Porcelain. This was like, not the Superstay, but ew, this is like leaking. That's gross. Okay, that's definitely going. Um, but this, the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me was literally my go-to foundation all through high school and you can like see like yeah it's separated it's gross i can't okay my mac studio fix foundation this is in nc10 i'm gonna keep this one i quite like this one for full coverage um let's see this is my fenty beauty pro filter uh in one 30. And if I remember correctly, this doesn't even, this isn't even a good shade for me. Like, this is way too yellow for me. Oh, okay. Getting rid of this one for sure. Hopefully I can get color match to a different one. Um, because that one, mm, girl, she is not that yellow. I can't believe people let me walk around with that kind of foundation. Ridiculous. Um, this is empty, but this is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in shade one. Does anyone remember this? Because I feel like this like literally isn't a thing anymore. Um, but it's literally empty, so I'm gonna get rid of. I don't know why I keep like the empty bottles to buy new shades because I'm not going to. Um, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer from ColourPop. This is in Fair 4N. I'm going to keep this one as well. Just a nice, easy, everyday kind of tinted moisturizer. I don't know where to get that because it is goopy and gross. Something spilled in there and went off. Let's go over my couple of skincare items real quick. I have two of the Peter Thomas Roth Cloud Creams. Literally the best moisturizer ever. So I keep one and then I always have a backup because I go through this stuff like crazy. I'm going to, of course, be keeping those. These cost me an arm and a leg to get. <laughs> it's like $52 a bottle. And then I also have from First Aid Beauty uh, Ultra Repair Oat and Hemp Dry Oil. This one goes under my moisturizer and helps to add some of the moisture back into my face. So I'm keeping that one as well. And now we have...
have lots and lots of powders to go through. Okay. I probably, if I'm being completely honest, won't be getting rid of a lot of these um, because I do go through powder pretty quickly. Uh, the first one is the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Oh my gosh, I didn't even like see these. Hold on, pause. Um, I have my original All Nighter, which is almost empty. And then this NYX Matte Finish Spray, I literally just used to wet my brush for shimmers and it's almost empty as well. These two are ones I'm trying to finish up this year in kind of my unofficial project pan. So both of these I am keeping, as I was saying. Um, the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Uh, this one is very well loved. Um, I don't even know if Soap and Glory is still a brand. I think they were like a British brand, um, but I'm going to keep this one. I do like this one. Okay, CoverGirl. This is the Clean Pressed Powder in Buff Beige 525. First off, this is definitely too dark for me um, for a powder. I used this one when I was in high school. It is obviously very well loved, and I think it is time to say goodbye to this one. I kept it because it was like my first makeup item ever, but I think it is time. I don't need to hold on to stuff, especially this loved. It's so hard. I didn't think it'd be hard to say goodbye to this. I need to do it though. Okay, we're gonna be strong. Okay, Juvia's Place. This is the White Sands um, setting powder, translucent powder. I'm gonna keep this one. This one is nice and velvety soft. I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. This next powder is from Pure, and the name is rubbed off, but I got this as like gratis when I worked at Ulta, and if I remember correctly, this is like the balancing act powder. It had like different colors like in there, and so you kind of like mix it together, and it makes your even skin tone question mark. Um, I am gonna keep this. I do like this one for all over the face. My Too Faced Born This Way translucent powder. Um, I used to go through this like there was no tomorrow. I used to carry it in my freelance kit for when I was working on set. I like that it has this little like closey thing so all the powders contained. Um, this one's really nice. I'm going to keep this one. Okay, this one is from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It is the Natural Luminous Setting Powder. And I don't think I've even used this. No, I haven't even used this. It still has its seals on and everything. This is just way too dark for me. I got this in like a mystery box unboxing. Um, it is just time for me to get rid of this. It doesn't, it's not even a good shade. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. It will be listed on my Poshmark if anyone wants it, because uh, it is brand new. Um, but I have the lavender setting powder that I think I also got in a mystery box. And this one I do plan on keeping. Uh, I actually really like using this one. So I'm going to keep this one. This one is from Pretty Vulgar. It is just the Powder Room translucent setting powder. Uh, it has this cute little puff so you can, you know, puff your face. Um, but this one's really nice as well. I'm going to keep this one. When I was younger, um, I, I say younger, but like two years ago, I was a hoe for powder, hence all of the powders. Uh, I have my Cody Airspun powder. I am going to, I think, put this back in my makeup kit. I don't know why it's not in my makeup kit. I pretty much just use this when freelancing. Um, I have these two mini Laura Mercier translucent setting powders. I will probably keep one and pass one along. Yeah, I'll keep this one because this one's opened and used. And this one, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This one is uh, sealed still, so I'll probably pass on this mini one and keep this one because it's the same exact powder and I don't need two. Um, I have this MAC and Patrick Star one. This one has a fun little puff. This was from a holiday collection. Um, this one I'm gonna keep. I like collecting limited edition stuff like this. Uh, and then last but not least, I have the Beauty Bakery Flower um, Translucent Setting Powder. So I am probably going to end up keeping this one as well. It's a little bit too yellow for my liking, but honestly, I think I would make good use out of it in my under eyes. As a final recap, this is everything I decluttered out of that drawer. I would say I did pretty good, honestly. Better than I thought I would. And this is what the drawer is looking like now. We have powders in the back there. This tin is for all my foundation and my very few concealers left. 
And then this one is setting and priming products with my little skincare stash right off to the side. That is all for today's video, friends. Thank you for giving me some motivation to clean out my drawers a little bit. Hopefully this inspires you to clean out yours if that is what's right for you. I don't want to make anybody declutter anything they don't need to. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining me on this Thursday morning. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, friends!